And now for the exciting conclusion. I got it's a little hard to see. We'll see here in a second. Okay guys, we have a rough finish to our wiring here. Haven't straightened it up or anything like that. The top's not on yet. We have our sure switch, our fan common up top here. We have our compressor common and run. The start for our compressors over here on the capacitor. They're jumped out here on the AMRAD capacitor to make it a 35. On the back side, there's a four terminal. There's two five microfarad. One of them's five slash six. One of them's five slash four. I guess it's a slightly different value. That's for our fan start. Here we have our fan run. You see the red wire there, and our two blue leads going to a black wire in there. Is our crank case heater. 
which is on the compressor now down there. As you can see on the side, zoom in. There's our crankcase heater. So everything's wired up except for the rest of the fan leads because the top's not on. I'll tighten this up once the top is back on. We'll start pulling the vacuum. We are holding at 115 for the last 20 minutes. So we'll put it in the vacuum in a minute and then we'll start things up. Here's our muffler all repainted down there looking very Copeland-esque. So I painted that, painting the dryer right now to make sure they last as long as possible. And I'm about to put the top back on. We have been running a vacuum for about an hour, hour and a half. Took a long time. This is our stable micron reading of 986. I am satisfied. Gonna put some new cores in there. Got some random stuff in here. It's my heater box. I'll put some new valve caps on it. So let me get the cores put back in. We can start putting refrigerant in the machine. It's our 407. I have my 407C on top. Fill piece scale here. I have to go up to the apartment and turn the power back on while I put a little bit of refrigerant in. Our charge factory is six pounds, three ounces. So we'll probably go to about six pounds, eight ounces because we got to go all the way up to the third floor, all the way across to the middle of the apartment. So it's a long way. So I'll start with six, eight and we'll go from there. Guys, our contactors flashing quickly. Green colored means we're in delay. You can see some of the instructions down there. So four pounds, five ounces in, but we need to start it up to get the rest of it in there. So we have the Z manifold on there. We're going to start things up and finish charging. Guys, you can hear the old Copeland. She's maybe a little bit louder than the old com the compressor from train. Yeah. Out of the corner of my eye, I thought I saw it again. That's just my refrigerant bed. But we'll just tell them they forgot to paint this one. Right now our pressure is at 50 on the low side. About 225 on the high side there. We have 121 and 53. 53 is our suction temperature coming back and 121 is our discharge temperature. We have about 8 ounces to go and then as long as it looks okay we'll recheck it in the spring and cool them because I check all these machines every spring. So that'll put us close on the charge because it's not going to be very specific. We've changed some of the components and an air conditioning could be a whole lot easier to dial it in. We are all done here. Copeland's power in the train. A lot of Emerson controls in there now. I got the sure switch too. We have our sticker on 407C. So we are good to go guys and I will see you guys on the next one.